figured if I was gonna do this Marty Marathon, may as well try to really get into the, the deep stuff. Hey everyone, my name is Max Aaron James. In this video, I will be reviewing three Martin Scorsese shorts, or as I will call, Daisy Dukes. Hopefully you appreciate that joke I just put there. First, we'll talk about Italian American. It is about Martin Scorsese's parents. He's pretty much just filming them in their apartment in lovely New York, and they are telling their story of being Italian Americans. Growing up Italian in New York and about their upbringing, their family, friends, how work was, how they met, and the excitement and struggles of being Italian American during the time that they grew up. I mean, this is pretty simple. It's something that I feel a lot of starting filmmakers do to practice with cinematography, with lighting, with directing, and if they're choosing or wanting to go down the, the path of nonfiction or documentaries, this is a good example, you know, interviewing someone that they know, uh, particularly parents who, or someone much older than them who seem to, you know, many times always have a story to tell. It's pretty good. I mean, it's, it's fun. It's entertaining, you know, uh, made me think a lot of my mother who is a Mexican immigrant and just wondering about her experiences. I've been told a few stories from her, but I think if I were to make something like this, it would definitely probably be much more in depth and you could learn about a lot about your parents. So I think that's another reason a lot of people choose to make something like this, where they choose to interview their parents, aunts, or grandparents, uh, maybe even older cousins. Next up, we have The Big Shave, written and directed by Martin Scorsese. It is about a man who shaves until he bleeds enough. This movie or short film is pretty bloody, right? Like this person is literally shaving nonstop and just starts cutting himself profusely and just blood goes over the sink, over the um, faucet, all over their hands, down their neck. And I think this was a good experiment as far as seeing um, what someone can do with practical effects, how to make scenes feel or make the audience feel uneasy, how to present gore. And I think this is a good, uh, you could see this as a good starting point of Martin Scorsese getting into the bloody or gory, violent um, themes of his films. This one is actually probably my favorite one um, just because of how simple it appears and yet it's able to bring out a feeling of uneasiness. Something that I feel a lot of people try to do. Last we have What's a Girl Like You Doing in a Place Like This written and directed by Martin Scorsese. It is about a writer who becomes very obsessed with a painting on the wall. During this time the writer talks about moving into an apartment, meeting a girl, you know, making out with the girl, having a friend who always has something either subtly wise or absurdly ridiculous. Is that redundant? Anyway, this feels very much like a student film just because of the techniques. And I think that probably says a bit about student films where no matter how experienced you may be or w the budget, depending on the techniques used with lighting, cinematography, shots, that it can feel like a student film and that's what we get here. I do appreciate a lot of the lighting done here and I think this maybe shows a lot of where Martin Scorsese really starts making these certain decisions or choices with cinematography that become almost a signature of his. Not saying anything in particular but showing that he makes choices that maybe are not very common when it comes to filmmaking. This is something I would watch more so to see the cinematography than the actual story. I think it is a bit maybe three minutes longer than it needs to be. Overall it is only 10 minutes. Italian American comes at about 50 to 55 minutes then you have the big shave which is maybe five minutes. These three films are good to see Martin Scorsese's beginnings, kind of seeing where he picks up his style, his approaches, and how he maybe views things. You get a bit of an understanding of his personality, um, especially in the beginning, so then when you see his later films you see where it came from and the progression of his movies as you go further into his uh, filmography. Well, that's all I got. Short, sweet, and to the point like these short films. Let me know what y'all think of this video. Did y'all ever get a chance to check out any of these? Let me know in the comments below. And until next time, y'all take care of each other. Check up on one another. Make sure you check up on yourself. And remember, potential has no limit.